my channel and welcome to vlogmas day 12. today i just wanted to touch on something just a little bit more serious i guess um, than i have done in my other vlogs and this is about my struggles with anxiety and depression um it's a vlog i've been wanting to make for quite a while but i've just had to have the courage to do it so today i have just chucked all of that out the window um, normally I script what I'm going to say but decided today I'm not I'm just going to talk to you as it is um, so I've suffered with anxiety and depression now um, on and off for uh, quite a few years but I think the last two years have probably been the worst um, and it's resulted in me going to the doctors and finally deciding or agreeing to have medication to try and help me work through my issues and give you and be a bit of a clear head. Now I was reading on Facebook the other day about um, what it's like for other people with anxiety and something just really rang true from one post that this um, gentleman who lives not too far away from me, I don't know him personally but he's on a Facebook group um, for my area, but um, he said anxiety is like um, not wanting to go out of your comfort zone and staying within the four walls of your house because that's your safe place. And that's very much how I felt. Um, but with the job that I have, I do need to get out and I do need to go and see my customers. So it's not something that you can easily hide. But one thing that the, this chap said is that um, it can feel like those four walls that you have that you build as your safe place then becomes your prison because you don't want to go out of those four walls and that's really been what it's like been like for me for the last few weeks anyway um really not wanting to go out um just to stay in my safe place but i'm determined not to make that my prison um so some of the ways that i have dealt with this is by acting actually accepting that yes I do need some help and that you know in some occasions you know I am going to need medication to help me get through the really rough patches so um, I've now changed the medication that I was on before um, and it seems to be helping uh, it's I feel a little bit numb I guess at some times but um, I do recognise the fact that I can't hold myself up in the house. I do need to get out there. I do need to do things. Um, but at the same time, it's it's good to talk. Um, if you have someone that is close to you that you can talk to, or even if you just message them over WhatsApp, if it's not something that you can vocalise, because often I find that I can't actually physically talk about it but it helps if I can put it in a message so if you've got friends then please speak to those friends you'd be surprised about how many people actually understand what you're going for and how many have actually been through it themselves in one way or another um, and also if you are employed and they have an in employee assistance program and you know and it's free for you to use then take advantage of that too. That's what I'm doing now. Um, and I'm about to start having, having some counselling sessions over the phone, um, all free of charge with my company. Well, my company are paying for it. So um, just go out there, take advantage of what's available to you. Don't feel stupid about it. And if you're getting to the point where your anxiety or your depression is so bad that you feel like you want to hurt yourself, and please go and see your doctor. Your doctors will understand about it. It can be tricky finding a doctor that you get on with, um, but I'm quite lucky in that I get on with my local doctor, you know, and he said to me, you know, well done for, for coming to see me about it, etc., etc. And he decided that um, the last time when I went to see him that I needed a couple of weeks off. So I actually took that time and I feel a lot better just for taking some time out, um, taking some time to concentrate on me. Um, so, you know, talking to myself or not to myself, I probably do talk to myself, but, you know, talking to other people really does help. And, you know, just try and 
not think about everything all at once because sometimes you really can't see the wood for the trees so just take one step at a time think about one thing at a time and about how you may do that don't have loads and loads of conversations in your head about how you may approach it um, I know that's very easy to happen but just don't overthink the situation I have issues you know where I don't sleep properly and I can't remember the last time I actually slept all the way through the night for once um, so it's rare to do that I didn't actually get up today until half past 11 because I had such a terrible night's sleep last night so um, you know it affects us all in different ways but you just need to remember to talk about these things um, and you know look for that support ask your support network and you know if you feel that you don't have anyone to talk to always drop a comment below um, in the in the bottom of this vlog where you can leave comments I'm more than happy to talk to you about my experiences um, so yeah I mean that that's my struggles with the anxiety and the depression I do get really low sometimes I cry for no reason but you know so what sometimes you just need to cry and let that out there you don't need to worry about what other people think but it is really important to let people know how you're feeling or just you know just a select few you don't have to tell the whole world because you might not want the whole world knowing your business but it's really important to talk I can't stress that enough um, there are people out there that can um, that understand what you're going through you know have a look online for some advice that you may get but it's it's really um, good if you can find somebody that maybe has been through the same thing so like I say if you want to feel free to drop a comment below um, and I'm more than happy to get back to you so like I said this one's a bit of a um, this vlog is a bit of a more serious one to what I normally do my normal happy upbeat ones um, but with Christmas coming around the corner and knowing how stressful that can be for some people I just thought it was important today to get that message out there so don't keep it all in talk about it and I hope um, that this video has helped you and um, I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year for when that comes along bye